tonight on alert and calling for a crisis conference as President Bush mobilizes more U.S. troops in the Mideast. Meantime, Iraq tightens its grip on Kuwait. Details coming up on the News at 10. Live from Channel 56, the News at 10. Good evening and welcome to the News at 10. I'm Jack Hines. And I'm Darlene McCarthy. Tell me Free world. I certainly wouldn't be voting for it. I'm Henry Eaton reporting for the News at 10. There is growing debate over how effective U.S. ground troops can be in the Middle East. Dr. Farouk El-Baz is a desert geologist who claims a conventional confrontation in the area would be virtually impossible. Right now in, uh, in Kuwait and Iraq and northern Saudi Arabia, the temperature remains continuously above 100 degrees. It fluctuates between 100 degrees and 130 degrees. And it does not drop during the night by much at all. El Baz said the only way the U.S. military could flex its muscles in the area is through air attacks.